Hi friends, in this video, let's start with our third step that is building our SSIS project or developing our SSIS project. So let's see how to start our project and uh, what are the initial things that we have to configure before we actually start uh, the package development. So let's open Visual Studio. Uh, if it's not already open, please open using DEVENV in your search bar so that it prompts you the Visual Studio 2019 and then you can click to open this Visual Studio. Now go to File and then New and then Project. Now it shows you the templates here. If you already open the project template, then it shows here. Otherwise, you can enter uh, integration and search for the templates. So it shows three templates and select the first one integration services project. That is a normal project template that we use for project or package development. And click next. Now enter your project name. So here, uh, choose your project name based on your project. So our project, the main task of our project. So the task of our project is state payment summary view report, right? So let's build state payments summary like state payment report. Uh, select your location and uh, click create. Now, go to Solution Explorer, stick it by clicking on this and verify all the details. The first thing before we start our project development is to verify our target server version. So as we discussed, my target server version is 2019. So your target version may be 2016, 12, 2008, R2 or 14 depends on uh, your company's target server version. So, so in my case, my target server version is SQL Server 2019. So I would like to change uh, this before we actually start the development. So go to general and then target server version, change that to your respect to target server. So select that as your target server. So our case SQL Server 2019 and then apply and shows yes. Okay now. So now the project has been set for target server version 2019. So this is the first step we have to configure before we start the development. And then the second thing is to verify the deployment model. So my deployment model I would like to use is I want to deploy the project into SSISDB catalog. So in this scenario, the deployment model that I have to use is project deployment model. By default, you see project deployment model. That means if you, if you see this project dot parameters in your project, that means it is in project deployment model. Otherwise, uh, you can check like this as well. If it shows convert to package deployment model, that means our project has been set to project deployment model. So we use this package deployment model when we want to deploy our packages into MSDB or file system. And uh, when we wanted to maintain the parameters in a system environment variables or a configuration file instead of uh, the catalog uh, environments. Okay, so I repeat this deployment models again. Project is deployed to integration services catalog while package deployment model deployed to MSDB or file system. And in SSIS catalog, we will see environments. We use that environments to handle different parameters that we use in this project. Whereas in package deployment, we use system environment variables and configuration files like XML file system based files to maintain the parameters of our project our packages. So these are the two things that we have to set before we actually start our project deployment. Uh, once we set these two things and once we're ready with the, the package or project deployment, we can uh, start designing our package as per our requirement.
so let's uh, see how to develop the next step of our package in the next video thanks again for watching my video